morning everybody it's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet hope everybody's doing fantastic today so today is Wednesday July 28th 2021 and we're going to do the hair for our doll yesterday we did the wig cap there's my wig cap and looks like I didn't get it on quite straight <laughs> what happened there <laughs> let's see if I can play around with it a little bit and make it look better well it looks better but you know what it's hair hair does not have to be perfect I just yeah all right so we're gonna make I'm gonna make two pigtails and that's what I growing up they called the, the two were pigtails and the one was a ponytail but I don't know if it's different nowadays but that's how I learned it so I'm gonna make two pigtails you can choose just to make one if you want if you do choose to make one, you might want to make it fuller than what I'm going to show you for the two ponytails. Um, and then the only difference is instead of sewing them on the sides, you'd be sewing it on the back. And you can make it in the back back. You can make it the top and let it kind of hang over. Um, I'm going to do the two. One's going to be over here. One's going to be over here. So let's get started. So what you need to do is you need to find something that is about the length of your ponytail. So something hard like a book or I just happen to have a DVD here that I just did my movie review on. And if I put this here and I kind of bring it down, I think that's gonna be long enough for my ponytails. I could do it this way and if I run it really long ones, because if I start here and go down, that's going to be all the way down to here. But sometimes it shrinks a little. And then if you trim it, you know what? Maybe I will do the long one. I don't mind having yarn scraps left over because I use them to stuff my projects. And, you know, if they're long enough, I make magic balls out of them. But if you're being a little more careful with your yarn, you might want to find something around the house that is exactly the length that you want. Um, this will be a little bit longer, but I'm going to trim it up. Okay. So all you do is you take your yarn and let me get back a little bit. And you start wrapping it. You can hold that with your finger. Start wrapping it around your book or your DVD case or whatever you're using. And there's not a magic number here. It's kind of like the look that you're going for. But just keep winding and winding and winding. You don't want to make them too thin. Unless if you're doing braids, if you're going to want to braid these, you do want to make them a little on the thinner side so it's a little easier to braid. Now, and think too, because it's going to be this amount plus this amount. It's going to be together. So what you're seeing on one side is only half the amount for the ponytail. I let go of my yarn end there. You could tape it down if you wanted or no, I never worry about it too much. So I'm just going to go. I'm not even counting, which I probably should count because you know what? I'm going to I'm going to unwind this. <laughs> I'm just going to start over because counting is a very good idea because if you're making pony or pigtails, two of them, you want them to be the same. So let me start over again and I'm going to count and this is how I'm going to count. I'm going to do down, up is one, down, up is two, three, four, five, six. Now you don't want to pull it very tight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-
Okay, very carefully. So now I have yarn. That is the length that I want. And I'm gonna lay it down very carefully, but I'm gonna lay it open so I don't lose this middle part here. I'm gonna cut a piece. Um, you don't need it very long. You can either do it extra long or short. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm going to make sure it is a little bit longer than one of the revolutions around here. So I'm gonna cut it like right there. And you'll see why I'm doing that in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna pick this back up. We're gonna slip this through until we have it like that. And you are gonna tie a knot in it. And you want to tie a knot very, very, tightly very tightly so that's the first half of the knot let me tie the second half of the knot very tightly and so we're gonna keep these separate keep those in your other hand and then you can cut you don't even have to do that yet if you don't want to I just always have you know what, I think I won't. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm not gonna cut the loops yet. I'm gonna go ahead and thread one of these two with a darning needle, my yarn needle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the place on my head where I want the first ponytail to be. The first one's a little easier because you can just choose wherever. And then the second one, you'll wanna line up with it. So it's, my, it's a little bit more finicky. But I think I'm gonna put mine a little bit forward and pretty high up. I like my ponytails pretty high up. I'm, I keep calling them ponytails, pigtails, whatever. <laughs> I'm in a mood this morning, I don't know. So I, I threaded the needle, I just took a stitch. I'm gonna pull it there and I'm gonna hold on to that. Now I, I let go of my yarn, which is, you really don't wanna do because now I have to find it again. Okay, there it is. And then you're just going to tie that into a knot. And you're gonna pull it until it's real close to the head. You're gonna tie it again. Now, I don't know if this makes a difference or not, but I just feel like it does, so that's why I do it. I take these yarn ends and I, I wind them around the base a couple times. Again, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I feel like it gives that that initial, that, that little connection there, a little more stability. So just like once or twice, and then I'm going to take these and knot them again. So this, this hair is not going anywhere. Okay. All right. So then <laughs> it's kind of hard to do this on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and now they're part of the hair, which is why I made them long. So I didn't want them to be too short. So she'd have like two short strands of hair up there. So these are just going to blend in with the rest of the hair now. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my loops at the bottom. So you just do that by taking your scissors and going through and cutting the loops. I guess you wouldn't have to if you didn't want to, if you wanted to have the loops at the bottom. Now, you'll you'll notice, I didn't cut all my loops open, but you'll notice that it's pretty, pretty uneven at the bottom. So what I like to do is I like to take my fingers and kind of run them up. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. I give her a lot of hair. Um, run them up until I get to a point where I think, okay, that's long enough. And then I'm just going to cut off the extra. Just be careful you don't cut your fingers in the process. Okay, so I just cut that off and then I'm gonna let that fall. And it depends on my mood. I might go in and, well, I will, cause there's like a long one that I forgot. 
I might go in and just give her a, a little bit of more of a haircut. Now you can see why I like to do it long because I always end up cutting up. And if I'm going to have her, I really like how much hair I put on her. That was a good amount of hair. So I think I would go and trim it up again a little bit at the bottom. Okay, so there's my bottom. That's how the hair is going to fall. And so I just take my take my hands and my scissors and kind of just, you know, play around with it a little bit and until I'm happy with it. Giving her a little haircut. I am not good at cutting hair, let me tell you. There's a reason why I did not become um, a beautician, a hairstylist, whatever they're called. Uh, it's not, not, not me. All right, so I still, I'm still not happy with it because I can still tell it's like going uphill. But you know, you just play around with it. All right, so you know, it's not perfect, but I'm happy with it. And I like how full it is. And that was going around 50 times. Um, this is probably a little too full if I wanted to make braids. I'd probably want to use less than 50 because if I tried to braid that, it would be really bulky. Um, but I really do like taking that extra yarn and going around that a couple times. I just feel like it gives it a, a, a more secure, um, a more secure hold. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And when I do the other side, now the only thing that's a little bit harder is I have to make sure that my ponytails are lined up. So I'm going to have to, you know, really look and see, you know, okay, this one needs to go right there because I don't want one ponytail up here and one ponytail down here. Um, I guess that you could if you wanted to, <laughs> but if you're trying to make them even, it's just a little harder. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'm going to do my second ponytail. Again, if you wanted just to do one ponytail in the back, you could. I would put it like right there maybe and have it drape over. So let me go ahead and do that. All right. So I did my second ponytail and I made sure it was pretty close to being even with the other one. Um, I also wanted to say too that when you do that wrapping around a couple times, I think it makes the ponytail pop up more and I like that look. Um, so I was thinking as I was doing this, boy, I am, I am not a hairstylist. <laughs> this one is like all uneven. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, if you're making this for a young child or a younger girl who might be more apt to pull at the hair, um, what I would like, what I like to do is I like to do kind of like the cabbage patch hair and I like to take, um, I don't know why that's like that. Okay. I like to take a little bit of the hair and give it another little wrap with a piece of yarn. So use a longer piece than you need. And you just, it might help if you have somebody to, to kind of help you with this part. But I just like to wrap it maybe an inch down and tie it off again. You know how the Cabbage Patch Dolls had that on there. And pull it really tight. Done. Okay, and then, then it's going to be too long, so you can cut that off. But it gives her a look. It gives her, you know, a little, a little different look if you want that. And so I could do this side too if I wanted to. I don't think I'm going to keep it that way, but it's just another choice for you to do if you wanted to wrap it around there. Just it does make the hair a little harder to pull out. Um, that off. So just a thought, just an idea. There are so many things that you can do with the hair. Um, I mean, you could put it into braids. You could, you know, put it into a few braids. You could, again, do the one ponytail on the back. You could make them lower. You could put them at the front here, down at the bottom. And then, you know, there's just so many different choices. This is kind of my go-to. This, this is how I normally do it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that one off that I just did. But I just wanted to show you that that's a choice for you if you wanted to do that. So I'm going to double check that my yarn is pretty good. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, mine is not straight at the bottom. But 
if I start worrying about it and I start cutting, pretty soon her ponytails are going to be like this big. <laughs> so I bet not do too much. All right, so that's today. Um, if you wanted to do different colors in her ponytails or pigtails, you wanted to put like some blue streaks or, or just do different colors, like, you know, not just all one color, then when you're wrapping it, just go ahead and put the other colors in there. Um, so many choices, so many options. All right, everybody. I hope you had fun um, with the hair. And tomorrow we're going to start on the dress. So you will need a hook that is one size larger than what we've been using. I've been using a G, so I'm going to get out my H hook for the dress. All right, see you tomorrow.